Hey guys, Vexion here, and today I'll be breaking down the Operation Dread Factor Battle Pass to see if it's a good buy or not. Last season, I would highly recommend buying that Battle Pass because it was very good, but let's break down this season to see if it's as good, if not better, and if it's worth the $10 to $15 the Battle Pass costs. So, first and foremost, I do not have the Battle Pass totally leveled. Uh, reason because that is that i just started playing again this season and i haven't had as much time but i've looked at the battle pass and i was like yeah you know what it's actually a pretty good purchase so first and foremost let's kind of enlarge the map here the items that you're going to be getting are going to be for the following operators knock oryx cali twitch alibi fenrir ash jackal ace sledge capkin and kaid now the nice notable ones here are probably going to be ace used quite a bit on attack alibi on defense capkin on defense Kaid on defense, and then Sledge on attack. This is a very defender kind of focused battle pass, and these are the operators that you're going to be playing most on defense. Capkin, always a good pick. Alibi, always a pretty good pick if you're roaming. Ace, pretty good on attack. Jackal, pretty good on attack if he's not banned. And then, of course, like I said, Sledge on attack. Kade also pretty much universally used, at least on one site in most maps. Now, the nice thing is the operators in which that you're going to want to get these cosmetics for are actually pretty early in the battle pass. Ace shows up pretty early. He's a pretty good pick. Oryx also shows up pretty early, though he might not be as coveted as someone like Alibi. Still decently early. And also, speaking of Alibi, also early. Basically, most of the operators that you want, you can pretty much get around level 30, level 40. And in that case, it's actually a pretty good buy. Most people can hit level 30 and 40 just casually playing. I've been casually playing maybe two or three hours every few days, maybe like 10 to 15 hours a week. Not that much. And I've made it to 40 pretty, pretty convincingly. And I'll most likely be able to finish the battle pass next week to two weeks from now. As I said, I did only start kind of a few days ago. So, you know, I've kind of been grinding a little bit, but overall, so far, I'd say it's a buy. Now let's break down uh, kind of like the exact cosmetics themselves and see what's going on. Last season, one of the themes of the battle pass was kind of a Roman aesthetic, and this is still carried through to this season. We have Ace as the longboat diplomacy uniform. It looks pretty good, all things considered. Uh, definitely, definitely do like how it looks. It's very simple. As also, if you go kind of up and down, you can kind of see here what else he has. Uh, it's, it's all pretty good. It's not necessarily Roman per se this time around. It's kind of more of a Viking vibe, but overall, I think it looks good. I can't really complain. Next up, we have Oryx. Oryx looks great. Uh, I'm, I'm really liking these. These are kind of like, again, some more like Romanesque, more Greek-esque like sporting themes. Uh, so far, really cool. I think they're really bright. They're really vibrant. They're very fun looking. They're definitely usable in most scenarios. Uh, going up, we kind of have a rock band theme uh, with Capkin here. This is also carried on through Knock, although that's going to be on the other end of the battle pass in the high levels, 80s and 90s. So we'll be getting there momentarily. Going down, we just kind of have more of these A skins that are pretty good. Uh, the gun skins are also really nice. They look great in game. Uh, I've used a few of them, like them quite a bit. Now moving on, of course, we have the Alpha and Bravo packs, but those are not really kind of the show here. You can get whatever you want from them. Uh, you know, I guess luck of the draw, but by purchasing the battle pass, you're going to be getting some guaranteed pretty good rewards. The alibi headgear and uniform looks great. Love it how it looks in game. The ash stuff is super underwhelming. It's a sleek look. It's nice. But again, I just really wouldn't use it. In my opinion, that's kind of a, a draw against the battle pass. The ash stuff is quite underwhelming. Next up, we have the Kaid stuff. The Kaid stuff looks great again. However, not that long ago, maybe two to three battle passes ago, Kaid also had a pretty good uniform that was also a very similar color. So again, a potential knock against Kaid, where, yeah, the uniform is good, and if you like these colors, hey, pick it up. It's, it's definitely a good buy. But not too recently, there was a similar color scheme in the Battle Pass, so we've already got that. Maybe you don't want to get this one, because again, you know, you're, you're going to be getting kind of a duplicate uniform here. Uh, going up, we have the Fenrir stuff. The Fenrir stuff is, again, that kind of punk rock um, kind of vibe. I like it. I think it looks good. Um... But it is just kind of mediocre, uh, in my opinion. I think there should have been something else for the Battle Pass. And I'm, I'm kind of curious why Fenrir released this season in like the last year of the Battle Pass isn't something crazy involving him. Uh, there might be a lore implication there, but I kind of feel let down in the Fenrir department. Coming on down, we have the Jackal stuff. The Jackal stuff looks great. I really do like the gold and the blue color scheme on a lot of these. They look great. Unfortunately, it's for his shotgun, which is under underwhelming. Uh, I guess it does make sense because there's a lot of good guns for a lot of good skins for his primary guns. So in that regard, the shotgun does make some sense. So moving on, we have Sledge up here. Uh, it's not bad by any means. It, it is more kind of par for the course than Nordic stuff. It looks good, uh, but I do think the headgear kind of does resemble one of his default headgears already. Uh, that being said. Hey, if you don't have any sledge stuff, which you probably should by now, I definitely would recommend picking this up. It is kind of clean and looks good in game. Next up for seasonal weapons, Radio Wave Wear. Actually, pretty good. 
Uh, really like how this looks. Again, it's just very simple black and white, but it does kind of come together really nicely. And another seasonal skin. Uh, this is Porcelanus, which I'm probably saying wrong. It's a blue and white skin. Again, a very clean skin. Looks very good on a lot of weapons. Uh, the Radio Waves is not bad. I actually think it's kind of the star of the show. Uh, it's, just, again, one of those simple skins that's going to look good for a lot of combinations in-game. Next up, we have another skin looks looks okay uh this does kind of look very similar to last season's uh skins so again it, it just kind of rehash doesn't look that good in my opinion next up with the attachment skin the attachment skin looks great um lacquer elegance looks not bad at all again there is a similar a skin already uh in a previous battle pass so if you've gotten that then again you're just kind of just kind of rehashing old ground in that regard it uh, still looks good though um gold on the muzzle and then blue kind of this tealish blue reflective blue uh, everywhere else so it looks good in some aspects but there's already one in the game that is similar to that uh, the twitch stuff looks good really liking that really liking the knock um no picture stuff again this is uh, one of those punk rock type of things it looks really really good and it comes with attachment skin uh, again it, it looks good cannot complain there here is my biggest issue and the biggest gripe against the battle pass and it's that the tier 100 stuff is cali focused it's not like there's anything necessarily wrong with that but cali's pick rate is incredibly low her operator presence is, is near none and she's honestly not that good in the current game and as cool as the skin is i just would have preferred on a on a different operator i put i would have preferred Benrir in this position, I would have preferred a Twitch in this position, uh, any other operator in this position, to be honest. Uh, I'm not really too sure why why she's here. Um, you can just bring uh, basically any other operator right now on attack to, to do her job better. Uh, Thatcher is getting through bans quite quite frequently now because people are banning Brava. You could just bring a Brava if Thatcher is banned. You could always bring a Flores. Uh, you can go below. There's impact EMPs now. Uh, honestly, in, in most aspects, her kit's kind of been gutted and she does actually need to rework. So if you're a Cali enjoyer, this is a, not a bad tier 100 skin, but overall, like compared to the rest of the battle pass, it is actually pretty terrible uh, that Cali is the tier 100. That being said, the rest of the battle pass is great. The Twitch stuff looks awesome. Everything here on the bottom row looks incredible. Everything here on the top row, bar the Fenrir stuff looks good. So honestly, it's like win, win, win. Like the Capcom stuff looks awesome. The A stuff looks great. The Oryx stuff looks good. The Ash stuff is a little bit mediocre but it's not bad by any means it's still a clean skin so overall i'd rate this battle pass 8 out of 10 if you are playing siege relatively consistently let's say four to five times a week i would highly recommend picking this battle pass up for 15 dollars. it's pretty good value you also get a decent amount of bravo packs and alpha packs on top of the fact that you are going to be getting some r6 credits so you can spend those credits in the shop to get esports skins which i would highly recommend doing because they're actually pretty good there's also some pretty cool cards in here i didn't really go over a lot of the cosmetics for like kind of like the pre-match stuff um like the operator card backgrounds because you know they're, they're good but it, it's an op card background you're, you're seldom ever going to buy uh, a battle pass for a, a card background that being said there are some pretty good ones they look great and uh, overall battle pass like i said 8 out of 10 would recommend if you play siege at least four times a week and if you think you're gonna get value out of it go for it